In this video we will look at some Excel formulas that we can use to solve problems involving annuities. So let's go ahead and open up an Excel file. An annuity is an interest earning account where regular periodic payments are made over the life of the investment. This is different than compound interest which just involves a single deposit, a principal amount, uh, that then just is left alone to gain interest. An annuity, again, is like a periodic, so like a monthly payment you're putting into an account. Uh, so we'll look at three examples. Uh, they're kind of the same example, just looking for different variables. First, let's look at finding the future value of an annuity. So suppose we deposit $100 at the end of every month into an account that earns 5% annual interest, and it's compounded monthly. How do we get the future value at the end of three years? We've actually may have seen this formula before. We can use the FV formula to compute our future value. So click on the function wizard, insert function up here. And in the little t box at the top, just type FV and press go. And in the box below, you'll see uh, the function come up. It's FV. And down at the bottom again, you'll see the description for what this function does press OK and we'll get into our wizard. Uh, the interest rate, again this is the rate per period and we have a 5% interest rate and it's compounded monthly so 5% divided by 12 and you can see what that actually is over here on the right. Number of periods, we are doing this monthly so 12 times 3 so that's a total of 36 periods. The payment, when we did compound interest we put a zero in for the payment that's no longer the case. We are making a payment now each time. We are putting $100 into the account. Uh, and since we can think of it maybe as spending $100, I'm going to make it a negative 100. And if we don't need to do anything with PV, we don't need a, a principal or a present value, we can leave that blank. And the last one type, we can also leave blank. Press OK. And we'll see that our future value of $100 for three years at 5% compounded monthly will be $3,875.33. Now let's look at a similar problem where instead of looking for the future value, we know what we want for a future, future value, and instead we want to find out how much of a payment do we have to make each month. So how much money would you deposit at the end of every month into an account that earns, again, 5% annual interest compounded monthly if we want a future value of $5,000? In this case, we're going to use a different formula. We're going to use the PMT command. So click on your function wizard and go search for PMT. Press go. And again, we have our PMT in the return box here. It tells us its description. It calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate, which is the type of problem we're dealing with. Press OK. Again, you see the same basic types of inputs, the rate. 5%. It is compounded monthly, so we'll take that 5% and divide it by 12. Uh, for the number of periods, I didn't specify this. Um, let's go ahead and assume it's the same issue, so we're dealing with three years. So we're going to do monthly for three years, so that's 36 payments. Principal or present value, um, nothing. It's not worth anything right now, so we'll just, we can uh, leave that blank actually. Uh, you can put zero in there if you want to. So what we want is a future value to be $5,000. So type in $5,000 and press enter or hit OK. And so this is the value we get. Uh, notice it's red and in parentheses that just means it's negative. It's just is a payment. So we're, we're spending $129.02 every month for three years. And the last one I want to look at is figuring out how much time it's going to take for an investment to, to grow to a certain amount. Uh, so suppose we're going to go ahead and deposit $100 every month into an account that earns 5% annual interest and it's compounded monthly. How long will it take to have a future value of $5,000? And again, we, you've probably, you may have seen this one already. Uh, we're going to use the MPER command. So go in your function wizard search for NPER. Uh, it returns the number of periods of an investment based on periodic constant payments and a constant interest rate. So our rate again is 5% percent 
it is compounded monthly, so we're going to divide it by 12. The payment, let's just again go with $100. Since it's a payment, we're spending it. We're going to make it one, a negative 100. Present value uh, or principal, we're not putting any money in to start with. We're just going to do 100 every month. And so we'll put a zero, and, or you can leave it blank too. And then the future value is what we want. We want a future value of 5000 So we're going to put $5,000 uh, into the FV blank. Hit OK. And so what we find is that it'll take f about 45.51 months or periods in order for us to get $5,000. If you wanted to know how many years that would be, uh, go to another cell and just divide that number by 12. Since we're doing it monthly, you're going to have to divide it by 12. And if you divide by 12, you'll get 3.79 years in order for that $100 to build up to $5,000.